Hi, I'm Greg LeBlanc, and I'm here at the Haas School of Business with uh, Heine Zachariasen, who is the founder of Vivino. Uh, welcome, Heine. Thank you very much. So, Heine, the story of Vivino is really a fascinating one. I mean, you know, you, you, you come out, you're not from the wine industry, you're from a software background. Uh, you decide you want to get into the, the wine business, and um, you realize that you're, what, the 800th or 850th uh, uh, wine app, and then, uh, and then you rise to the number one wine app in the world. Um, for people who are um, thinking about entering a space and they see that it's already crowded, what's really the secret to, uh, to dominating in that space? Th that's a great question. Um, we have some kind of answer to that. I think for me as a product person, uh, what we think is very, very important or the most important thing is to build an amazing product. And what that comes back to for us was that we tried to figure out, hey, what is the problem for the user? What do they really want? Mm -hmm. and and for me, the problem was seeing a lot of wines and not knowing what to buy. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to data. Like, is this wine good? Is this one bad? Which one is it? Mm -hmm. And an extreme focus on building the best product uh, is, is what wins most spaces these days. Yeah, and of course, data really lies at the heart of your strategy. I mean, if you are trying to get some insight onto a wine and it's not recognized by the by the app, it's, it's going to be kind of useless. Exactly. Um, and so, you know, what we know that Netflix and Amazon have done for all these other products, um, Vivino is, is trying to do uh, f for wine. But as, as an aspiring e-commerce company now, uh, e-commerce companies have this, this cold start problem where they don't know anything about the, the preferences of, of their consumers. Um, you've kind of solved that cold start problem by getting users and, uh, to, to input information. H how have you done that? So, so uh, that comes back to when people started get the app the first time, they usually get it because, hey, you should try it out, scan a bottle of wine, and maybe rate it. Even if you don't rate it, we know that, hey, you actually scanned a Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa. Already, the f we, we start getting data points right away. It mm -hmm. might not be much. We also know what phone you use, where you live, and so on. Uh, so our cold start, since most our users give us something right away, it's not completely cold. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, uh, this is a highly fragmented industry, and so uh, the, the places where the, the data lives um, with respect to all the different touch points, it's very uh, de decentralized. H how can you uh, jump into this uh, complex three-tier landscape and, um, and utilize your, your, your data leverage to become a dominant e-commerce player? Yeah. E player? I think the first, just want to comment on, on what you said first, that it's distributor. And we decided from a data point of view, we're just going to build everything ourselves. Mm -hmm. So all the data we have, we've built ourselves with our users. Um, and then the question is, how do we become a dominant player? I think, uh, I think things are going to change now. I think what we saw in books 20 years ago, at some point you figured out that I could be in a bookstore, I could feel this book and know a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. At some point I decided, you know what? If I go to Amazon or online, I'll have ratings, reviews, recommendations, mm -hmm. infinite supply. At some point that becomes better. That has not happened in wine before. Mm -hmm. That's the change that we're bringing that will help you make a decision to buy the best wine for you at home. But Amazon has so much more knowledge about their customers in terms of their, their likes and <coughs> purchase history and everything else. Um, how is it that you could protect yourself against uh, you know, e-commerce juggernaut like, exactly. like Amazon? Yeah. So they do have a lot of that, but they're not really good at wine. And wine is, is very, very different. So our, what we say, our wall of protection is the data we have on the wine. Like nobody else in the world has ratings and reviews on every single wine in the world. And even Amazon, who's done wine for a few years, tried a few times here and in Europe, they don't they're even close to having the data that we do. So. Our protection is really the data and being best at that. So one way to build a data-centric moat around your business. Thank you, Heine. Thank you. Mm -hmm.